and uh, it's been really nice these past few days. Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr is here to tell us how it's not going to be really nice tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so it's been really nice for a while. We're going to have two days that are really kind of crummy, and then we're going to have more great weather. So it's all good, right? Here is a look at what's happening, and you can't help but notice all of that rain in Texas. It's moving into Louisiana. For the most part, this is very light rain. You also have some rain offshore that's moving to the northeast. So I think the model's not picking up on that so much because we will we'll have some showers in the morning hours. What we have is a big upper level low out west and it's pumping that moisture to the north. If you're traveling over to West Texas, that's where they have winter storm warnings posted. Meanwhile, over southeast Louisiana, we're looking pretty good, but again, just to our west, there's the rain. So, how much rain are we going to get? Looking at this forecast model, it shows rain increasing as we go into the afternoon and evening. Eight o'clock, some areas will have already received an inch. Metro area, it's looking like a half an inch. Mississippi Gulf Coast, two tenths of an inch. Then by the midnight hour, uh, pretty much the entire southeast Louisiana has an inch of rain. Mississippi Gulf Coast, not quite an inch. But by the time it's all over, most of us will have received one to two inches of rain. Here's the forecast model. And the area of low pressure begins to move to the northeast. All of that rain pushes out of Texas. This is 3.30 in the afternoon with the heavy rain still just to our west and beginning to move in. Looks like a rainfall event going into the evening, 10.30 at night. Heavy rain all the way into Alabama, well offshore. We're going to have very strong winds, small craft advisories posted, the potential that we could have gale force winds along the coast. Then we go into your Friday. And the weather then, a strong north wind, some scattered showers, high temperatures, upper 40s to the low 50s. Not such a pretty day. As we go into your Saturday, this is when the sun comes out. We'll have a north flow. It's going to be a beautiful day. High temperatures, mid 50s, and Sunday is looking great. High temperatures near 60, so for the Jazz Half Marathon, the weather cooperates. Big change, though. That's what you need to know. Increasing rain and wind. For your Thursday and Friday, it's going to be cloudy, cold, and windy for Friday. Then the sun comes out for the weekend. Great twit pick. This is from Terry. You can see the clouds moving in. And this is one of my favorites from the Bywater Jared Sinodin. Look at the beautiful view of the city. And another great one from the Mississippi Gulf Coast, Anthony Pollard Sinodin, the sunlight reflected in the water. So the high today, 69, the average, 62 degrees. All across the area, upper 60s to low 70s. What great weather for January. Right now, upper 40s to the mid 50s. And our morning lows generally mid 40s to near 50 degrees. High temperatures tomorrow are going to be climbing into the mid to the upper 50s because we're going to have that east wind. Got to tell you, though, small craft advisory, east at 20 to 25 knots for tomorrow. So breaking it down, 3 in the afternoon, rain is likely about 55 degrees. Friday, scattered showers, cold, highs upper 40s to low 50s. Saturday, you're going to have the sunshine. It's going to be a really nice day. And Sunday, your high temperatures, low 60s. By the way, another cold front moves through for early Monday.